Hi everyone and welcome back to 999. Um, we did the technically the second escape room last time um, and we got out in the hallway. So here we go. Hmm? B53, the first one. That should do it. What's he up to? I was just putting one of those plates in there. It ought to keep the door from locking again. That is clever. Now we can come back here anytime we want, right? Ah, why would you want to come back here? There was a safe that we didn't open. I might like to play a little piano. <laughs> piano? Come on, let's get moving. We aren't out of this yet. Well then? Hmm. Can't say I could ever imagine Seven playing the piano. He couldn't use the piano in there anyway. The keyboard's a mess. But why would he want to leave the door unlocked then? There's a fucking safe. <sighs> I have no clue. Junpei is stupid. <laughs> hey, wait for me! Whoa, a, a metal grate? Why is this thing... <clears throat> Figures. Are those elevators over there? Yeah. No way to know if they're working or not from here. Oh, uh, there's a door just to the left of this grate. Sounds like it's locked. Yep. Stairs leading down. They're blocked by the grate, though. But this here seems accessible. So we can open it? Nah, uh, I think it's locked, too. Look. What's this mark? The female symbol? It's Venus. Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Do you recall the similar symbols near the large central stairway? Yeah. They reference many of the solar bodies. Oh, th that's right. The sun, Saturn, and Earth. So, as you can see, that one is likely not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. So I assume. Hmm. Hold on. Where's Seven? Seven. Ah, there he is. Down that hallway. <laughs> this way, Snake. Follow me. Hmm, I wonder if this door will... How about that? It opens. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a fucking casino. Is this some kind of casino? Cool. Sure looks like one. Uh-oh. Well, this is troubling. It seems we are once again locked in. Even if that door was open, it's not like we had anywhere to go that way. That's also true. <laughs> so we must find another exit. Then. <sighs> All right, guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling. Let's go. Quickly now. Hey, look. I know we have a time limit, but uh, let me do my job. Seek a way out. It really looks like it was made for the DS. I don't know why, it just gives me those vibes. Oh. Um, is that a playing card? I have sharp eyes. Uh, what do you call those? You have diamonds or spades. Spades. Oh, um. oh no, I misclicked. There's something on the counter. Looks like a card. A playing card. Seven of spades. Oh, I'm back. The count is pretty well polished. Well, will you look at that? Someone left a ball of booze here. Don't mind if I do. Glug, glug, glug. Ugh. Oh, that hits the spot. I don't think this is the time where you should be getting drunk. Feels like my throat's burning. Damn, he really drank it. We don't even know how long it's been there. Well, alcohol doesn't really... per se go bad. <laughs> hmm? Playing card? Four of spades. Are we, like, trying to make a... what's it called? A full house? No. Yeah, isn't it a full house? That square table. 
It looks like a Mahjong table. Do you play Mahjong, Seven? Uh, maybe? I don't remember exactly, but I do remember a couple hands and some of the rules. So I figure I must have played it at some point. Excellent. Once we've vacated this vessel, I should like to play a game with you. Can you, uh, play? Aren't there Mahjong type uh, tiles for, like, blind people? Uh, so long as you tell me which tiles I am eliminating, yes, I believe I have at least enough skill to defeat an amateur. However, I must ask you to remove the red tiles when we play. Why? Why the red tiles? Are those not blind people friendly? What the fuck is this? There's something on the table. Yeah. Ah, uh, Baccarat. I don't know that one. You ever played Jupe? No, I've never. <laughs> I haven't heard of it. <laughs> All right then. How about I explain the rules to you a bit? How about you don't? <laughs> See, baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's going to win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games too. See, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. If your number is smaller, oh, than okay. points, you lose. That's it. That's the explanation. Got it. So if you have like you count it up and you have fifteen, then you take five. Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, danger, yeah, okay. that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a nine. So it's not digital root? Because you ignore whatever's in the tens place. And the weakest hand is a zero. That's not true. You just ignore the number in the ten spot. Do you get it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I get well, it. Well, maybe half of it. Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? I mean, I imagine it just does. Then I guess we try everything. I'm sorry. Yeah, so we have to score an exact nine to get that card number eight. Don't we? I don't think we can get that with the cards we have at the moment. Oh, I, I'm totally not voicing this, because it's like explanation for the puzzle. I think we need to get 9, exactly, and not 8, so we would need... So we don't have 8, so we have... I don't remember what we have. I, I'm not reading those, because... explanation for puzzles and I'm like yeah I, I get it oh my god <laughs> I don't think yeah I have four or five and a seven I don't have enough because if you total that that's 16 one plus six oh no it's just six so I don't have uh, don't have enough Uh, where was that light puzzle? Yeah, here. Yeah. Wait, when those two lights turned on, I heard something from the bottom of the fireplace. What's that called? Clovers? No. Club? Clubs? Do you call these clubs? Diamond and uh, heart. Clubs, diamond, heart. So we have a six now. I don't think that's enough. 
Oh. <gasps> oh! Coin back for the slot machines, okay. So I guess we get a card we need in the slot machines. Oh shit. I always think you have to click it and then... <sighs> I don't know. So I'm probably going for clover... Diamond... No, it's not clover, it's clubs. Clubs, diamond, heart. What happened? I heard a not noise. Um. Well, to be honest, I don't know. I pressed some of the buttons and smacked the machine once or twice, but nothing happened. Oh. Looks like the coin got stuck. Oh dear. Put another one in. Oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, just just drop another one in. All right, let's drop this coin in the coin slot. Come on, you little bastards. I only need one of you. Oh no. What? Shit. I'm not entirely sure. Am I trying to mimic this? Or what I found on the wall, which was clubs, diamonds, hearts. Ah! Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I just suck at this. I don't know, I don't see how quickly it reacts. Uh, diamonds. Oh, I forgot. <sighs> hey, I want something. <laughs> I just don't see it. Yeah, whatever. Fuck off. Fuck off. I can't do this shit. No, it doesn't really matter now. It, it spins a bit too fast for me to be able to see when I have to click it. So I'm just doing it on, on luck. Which is horrible because it's not going to happen. Is this one maybe just too fast for me? This is a tough one. Snake! Don't you fucking... It's... Maybe it's sound related, but I don't really hear it either. And what is so tough, if I might ask? Hitting this reel's just right. The timing is well, it's not easy. Wait, what? I don't believe you need to hit them just right. Huh? Then what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what? If I'm not supposed to hit them just right, then what am I supposed to do? I don't this is the main body of the slot machine. Junpei, you do know what to do, yes? Oh, fuck off. Junpei, perhaps you should be more careful in the future. You got the coin stuck in the machine on the left. Please don't make the same mistake again. That would be bad. Yeah, I know that. Shut the fuck up. Jerk. I'll put this coin in the slot and that'll show him. 
Uh-huh. Uh, that's weird. Do you intend to lock us in here? So we need to second slot machine. It's not my fault. They're rigged. The coin just got stuck all on its own. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, so we have to use the second one. But what does he mean you're not supposed to hit them just right? I don't get it. Damn it! Time to try again. I don't understand, like... What was it? Clubs? Diamonds? Shh. I don't get it. This is what I'm supposed to do, right? Ah, man. Fucking suck at this. <laughs> Can I just get a prize for this? <laughs> Can I skip this puzzle? Because this is not a puzzle, this is just luck based. I mean, I'm trying to time it, but it's really difficult. Ah, way too early. Can one of these other people just solve that for me? trying. It's just... It's just not working. But then Snake said, I don't think you have to hit them just right. And I don't understand what he meant. Yeah, but I don't think they have to match. A prize, eh? I wonder what might happen if we were to match all the reels. I imagine the prize would be the tools that would lead to our escape. Yeah, wait to put pressure on me. I swear, can I skip this? Heart, spade and diamond. Hmm? What do you mean? The symbols on the reels. They're the same as the playing card symbols that I saw over at the fireplace. <laughs> this is different. <laughs> Junpei, are the reels the only place where you see the symbols? Huh? Don't you think the symbols might be found in other places as well, apart from the reels? Huh? Uh, am I... Oh, can I just click these? Wait, if I just do this... No, no, if I just do this, um... Oh, wait! Just do this! Motherfucker. And it automatically goes to 777. Oh, uh, I was like, why wouldn't I time it? I didn't notice that this were the exact three symbols that I needed. 777, yes, 777. And I think I hear something unlocking in there. 
Impressive, Junpei. Actually, you gave me the hint. It would appear to be unlocked now. There is something akin to a drawer in the bottom, bottom part of this machine, yes? That is a pickup drawer for dividend. Probably the lock for the drawer got unlocked. Yeah, I fucking know how a slot machine works. Please open it if you would. Yeah. Ah. What is it? Is there something in there? Yeah, playing card. And this? A key with the Venus symbol? Excellent, Junpei. Now we will be able to open the gate. Then we just need to figure out how to get out of this room. Correct. Come on, Junpei. Hurry up. And he's off. There was a playing card and a Venus key. Better put the key in my pocket for later. As for the card... Card 2, which is probably what we need to make a 9. Probably. I think we need to go... because this needs... Uh, the 8? Oh, we don't, we don't have the 8. Obviously. <laughs> uh, where's the baccarat table? This one. Oh no, that's a mahjong table. Oh, that's the baccarat table. I was like, where's the baccarat table? We need a 9 at the end. Yeah, let me pay fucking baccarat. Better make sure. Yeah. <laughs> what the f so I need to get 19, I guess, right? Uh, how do I make 19? How much is 6 and 7? That's 13. I can make 18. Wait, can I make 9? Well, four and five, but then you have, um... What's five and seven? That's... Thirteen? Oh, yeah! Uh, no, that's twelve. Oh, fuck. I can make an eight. Do I need another card? I think I do. Like a three or something. You know, like the, the card that's right on the fucking table. <laughs> I thought it was background, you know? Okay, let's play Baccarat. So we do have to do the digital route. I don't think I needed a 3 for that. Oh yeah, because I don't have an 8. Okay, so we do play with the digital route. So we need 18. 6 and 7 is like... Th yeah, so we need 5, 6, 7 then. Yeah. Are you sure that's what we need to do? Oh my fucking god, that was super easy. I didn't need the three. Well, I probably need it for later. You think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. Sometimes I don't read it because, I don't know. I'm just sick of it, I guess. <laughs> and it's not important. Anyway, so... Alright, so now we can make the 9. No. Oh. No! Looks like we need to put a playing card in there. Alright, let's give it a shot. Yeah, and then we need to... And in you go! Alright, it opened up. It seems we have another device to contend with, yes? There are three slots in this one. <laughs> so basically all the cards I got left. So that probably means we gotta make nine. 
Yeah, that's just all the cards I have. <laughs> like, I mean, this is not really a puzzle. <laughs> it's just, you know, what happens now? Doors unlocked? Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. Seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go. <laughs> you found it! <laughs> this way. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. <coughs> Excuse me. No problem. <laughs> Let me help with this one. Okay. It sounds as though you have opened it. We should be able to reach C deck now, I imagine. Snake, uh, are you going to be all right? I mean, the stairs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can walk stairs. Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. That's a bit of... That's a bit overestimating yourself, but... Good to hear. Let's move. This probably is going to happen a lot. Like, there's something that's going to happen Everything to Everything looks okay here. And we're like, yeah, yeah, sure. We should check the next deck down. Just in case. Just what I thought. D-deck is completely underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the sea deck then. Now, how about we check out what's here? There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. I mean, probably. <laughs> There's a card reader between them. Uh, that's Mercury, right? And another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. It's the symbol for Lotus. <laughs> what? See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it. No two ways about it. That was a pretty good one, kid. Ouch. Oh, whoa. Would you watch it, man? Whoa, that hurts. You're gonna break my neck. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that. Maybe this will toughen you up, huh? <laughs> if we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. <laughs> this is a Mercury symbol. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff? Huh. So then, she beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. Sounds like Lotus, all right. <laughs> Seven! Oh, that's too much! Oh, my head! Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Unless we can activate this device, the snake is just like, I'm going to ignore these function. stupid fucks. <laughs> in other words, we gotta find a key card with a Mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. How about that hallway to the left? Oh, there's a bunch of doors. Ah, shit. We're not gonna have enough time to check all these, are we? Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. All right, this time. There are doors here, too. Well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. We're on it. Huh. It isn't locked. I'm going to open it. No, oh, I forgot to click. I was like, why isn't it opening? What? It's like a hospital room, kind of. I hope you don't hear too much. Like, I hear my mother talking really loudly. Hey, what... What is this place? It's so huge and empty. It seems like an hospital room, like... Oh, there are beds everywhere. You know, the sick bay. Is this a hospital? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. Yeah. The left door says three. 
the second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? Does that mean anything? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Yep, locked. Just like I thought. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, because it's been going on for like half an hour, I think. Um, and we'll see what happens in the hospital room next time. Sorry, I, s I still hear my mom. Um, <laughs> I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, and I hope to see you for the next one.